What's up guys, how's it going? So today with this video, I wanted to make a quick update on the state of the channel and to say a few things that are gonna come up on the channel and to explain how things are gonna progress from this point on and give you an update on the things that happened in the, couple of, the last couple of months. First things first, I finally passed over the first 200 subscribers. So that's awesome guys, thank you very much for supporting me and following and uh, leaving comments and questions and discussing with me and watching the videos. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing many more subscribers, hopefully in the future to kind of motivate me to do these things. Other things beside that is that, uh, as probably you noticed, I don't upload as often anymore. I kind of plan to switch my upload schedule to once to twice a month. So one to two videos per month, mainly because um, I'm running out of ideas on what to make videos for. And um, I want to make, make videos about gear and about guitar playing and uh, writing and music and so on and so on. So in general, I have a lot of ideas, but I don't want to just churn them out and uh, make quick, short videos. I'm a guy who likes to make uh, a bit longer videos and those take time. And um, in the last couple of months, I've had quite uh, a time issue. Basically, I had a lot more changes in regards to the workload. I had uh, some um, situations at work, not a bad situations at all. In general, like all good things, a lot more responsibilities. So I had to spend a lot more time working and in general to take over, do some things, um, focus on myself, on my mental health as well. and. Uh, have a bit of break. I don't like to force myself uh, because I think that this uh, video making and so on, the YouTube channel is just a fun thing to me. I don't uh, live from music. I don't, uh, I, I earn zero money. So zero coins <laughs> from music in general. So this is just my hobby and I want to keep it fun. And uh, at one point I started pushing myself a bit too much to make videos and to come up with content and that wasn't fun for me at that point of time. So I kind of decided to back it off a bit and reduce the upload schedule. So that's how it's gonna be from the, this point on. I'm gonna probably upload once to twice per month. Other things that's gonna come up. Um, so basically I think in this month in March I'm not gonna upload anything special in re related on my channel because I'm moving with my wife into a new apartment end of this month so I have to dismantle this whole studio and the room and everything and move and then assemble everything in a new apartment. So yeah, there's a lot of work around that. So that's that's what's gonna happen. But I can give you a hint on the things that we're gonna that gonna end up on the on the on the channel. What's new? So the new thing here, you can probably see this is VHT or Freyat Pitbull 100 Classic with a graphic EQ. Some of you know this amp. I know how legendary it is and how awesome it sounds. I've had it for the last, I think, two months, something like that. And I've been enjoying it very much. I really like that amp. It's uh, gonna stay in my collection, of course. It's not gonna move anywhere. So I plan to do a really in-depth video on that, on that amp because I think this amp deserves to have like a really in-depth explanation of every everything that it has, every feature to show you the ranges of each knob and so on. Like That's something I like to do. I like to see videos with uh, a lot of in-depth information in them, not just chugging the same tone like for a few minutes and that's it. It's not my type of thing. And I guess the people that watch my videos are into a bit longer videos. I, I guess, I'm not sure. Other thing that I plan to do is also I need to do an uh, in-depth video on my Angle Savage 120. I also feel that there is a bit of missing information on the YouTube about how every single thing works and so on. So it's not just about the focus on a single chug. I just want to show in depth how each knob reacts and so on and so on. Um, then there is this. So there's going to be a project coming up. So that's going to be a, a bit in uh, pieces. So I bought myself a week ago this thing. This is an old beaten up um, without pickups uh, Ibanez Xiphos 
uh, XP 300 FX, so it's fixed bridge. So I saw this uh, this guitar selling for really really low price, around 150 euros, and uh, it it was beaten up. Um, it was uh, repainted, I think, two times as far as I can see into this um, sea foam green color, and uh, I I always wanted to get. Um, a Xiphos shaped guitar. Basically, I out of all X shaped guitars, uh, Ibanez Xiphos is my favorite by far. And I want to make it my project guitar, so I want to do a bit of, um, yeah, I want to refurbish this guitar completely and upgrade it and make it a beast to play. So what's planned to do with it is that I I bought Evertune Bridge, so an Evertune Bridge is going to be uh, installed into this uh, guitar probably next week when I send it. Um, so that's the first step. The second step is going to be I'm going to completely remove the paint from this guitar and um, of course I'll record everything how I'm doing it. And uh, remove the electronics and get new electronics. So I'm going to repaint the guitar. I'm not still sure yet in which color and so on. There's I have a couple of options, I'm still waiting in, but please let me know if you want to give an opinion of how this guitar should look like. I want something like maybe, um, you know, maybe you saw the ESP Jawbreaker uh, finish, like white with uh, crazy colors, like rainbow colors uh, splatter. That's, uh, that's an option, or maybe some um, white base and then a blue, light blue, gray, uh, swirls. That's also an option I have in mind. So yeah, this guitar is gonna get completely refurbished and um, fixed. I'm gonna try to do my best to fix it. Then there's gonna be some things to, to be done with neck itself. At the moment it sounds and plays very, very nice, to be honest, and the neck is much more comfortable than I remember myself when I played Ibanez uh, guitars. Of course it's a thin a wizard 2 neck but it's uh, it's quite nice and it's played in so overall the neck is in very good shape frets are not unfortunately so frets and binding i'm not sure if you can see but anyway i'll i'll show it in the upcoming videos so the frets and bindings are very bad shape i would say so i decided that i'm gonna remove the the neck binding bind it with a new binding i'm gonna put um uh, hopefully um, stainless steel frets from Jeskar. And I'm gonna refinish the back of the neck with um, um, true oil. Yeah, with true oil and uh, aim for a bit uh, of a satin finish neck. I want to kind of achieve the same finish that I have on my uh, Caparison C2 because it has a, I feel it's like the best finish of the, of the neck ever. And um, yeah, this maple deserves it, I would say. And there, there are a couple of things that needs to be improved overall. Um, the tuners, I'm not sure. Probably gonna keep them because with every tune, you don't really need locking tuners, I would say, because it always stays in tune. It moves anyway, so it doesn't matter. It keeps the tension. Uh, with electronics and pickups, I'm planning probably um, to add the lace death bucker pickups because I think they're quite unrepresented on the market and I quite like how they sound and they're like completely different design from any other pickups and it's crazy that people don't know about them so I definitely plan to install them into this guitar and demo them. I mean they, they are I would say mostly metal focused because, because they sound very hi-fi, they have a much bigger range of normal pickups so bigger low end, uh, bigger high end. Uh, they're much more transparent. So in general, what I've seen and read is that if you put them in a shitty sounding acoustic guitar, they're going to sound shitty. If you put them in a nicely sounding guitar, they're going to sound nice. So far, what I've tried with this guitar, it's pretty uh, nice acoustically. It sounds very nice acoustically and balanced. So yeah, there's that. So I'm going to Zephos operation, project operation, whatever, I'm gonna name something and create a series out of it, probably like a multi-part series videos where I go finishing up the guitar, repainting and doing everything. So yeah, that, that's gonna come up on the channel as well. 
Uh, another thing, Alaney Ironheart, my first amp that I bought in my, my life ever. I'm gonna do an in-depth demo of that amp as well because I think I think it's one of the better introduction amps that you can get uh, as a metal guitar player, especially when you have a overdrive pedal that goes in front of it, it makes it into a metal beast, like a really tight metal beast, and I think that amp deserves a bit more fame that I think it's not really represented that much in the metal community, so that amp is gonna get as well the um, the video, in-depth video, and then I'm probably gonna sell it because um, I have like Fred, I have Engel, I have Yarosov Bulldozer. I don't really play the Laney that much because I have all the other options that fit my play style much more and uh, it's a shame that I, I don't like to, you know, just have gear laying around not being used. I can sell it and then I'm gonna probably buy something else to bring to the channel and so on. So overall, yeah, this is the, um, the current state of the channel and uh, the plans that are coming up. Um, of course, if you have any comments or questions, and please, if you have, like, whatever question you have, you might, uh, an idea, something for videos, please just let me know, because I want to make this um, fun for you guys to watch as well, and uh, I want it to be as informal as possible and whatever information you want to hear about the all the gear that I have. I mean, I have like a couple other pedals. I have like um, this is Digitech Drop for dropping the, the tunings. Maybe I can make a video about how it really sounds once you start dropping. Then I have the Digitech Freakout, which is quite famous. I think Pete Thorne did uh, quite good uh, reviews of that pedal so I thought maybe I don't need to do a review, but I can do it for fun. Um, yeah, I have the Volrus Audio D1, um, Mako, 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 whatever, it's a digital delay uh, pedal. It sounds amazing, it's in stereo, it's, oof, it's really fun to play through. I've been very busy actually in the last couple of, like, I've been writing for my main band for the last three years, so we're pretty finished. I'm finishing up the last song for the album, and um, that, of course, uh, needs to be a bit more shaped with the other band members and to start recording and so on. So I've been quite busy in the last couple of months, in the last two, three months, to you know push it to the finish line, uh, write a couple more songs. So eight songs, around 60 minutes of material, probably. And uh, that's gonna, that's that's also something I've been doing, and uh, I've been enjoying the process. So maybe I can share some of the process with you guys if you will like that. So yeah, um, this turned out way longer than I expected. This video, I I hope you enjoy it. I guess. And if you have any comments or questions, leave leave it down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to catch up and click that notification button because, um, as I said, I'm not gonna upload probably regularly and um, the notification bell will help you to catch up with uh, my uploads. So, stay safe um, and see you next time. Bye!